We coming out of Babylon, Babylon, Babylon. Spiritually, mentally, physically. We coming out of Babylon. Coming out of Babylon, Babylon, Babylon. Spiritually, mentally, physically. Coming out of Babylon. Out of the city buildings and from the fields with the many children of this world Going and weeping, fleeing from Babylon and searching my sign and on the horizon a lightning storm but a wise man viewed from afar and new Spiritually, did you see the Wendy Williams fall? Spiritually, the reason why I say that is this What's the odds of this woman coming out from so-called Halloween, right? Dressed up as the Statue of Liberty, right? And then fall. All right, so I wanted I wanted to touch a few scriptures on that. Get me Matthew twenty six and verse forty one. Right, because this is something that we 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 when you see these things manifest before your eyes, man, we have to see it in the spiritual realm. Matthew chapter twenty six and verse forty one. Watch and pray. Do what? Watch and pray. You see, the scripture telling us to watch and pray. You know what I'm saying? So we have to be watching all of these things that's going on around us. Watch and pray. Don't just be watching your YouTube and your, your TV for entertainment. Forget all that. Be looking at it for what it is so you can gain spiritual understanding. It says, watch and pray. That what? That you enter not into temptation. You see that? So the most high temptation is getting ready to come on this earth big time. That great tribulation is getting ready to come. America is on her way out of here as an empire. All right, so we got to watch and pray. The Most High is showing this thing, you know what I'm saying, in a spiritual sense, right? So read what you got, that Amos 3 and 7. Amos chapter 3, verse 7. Surely, Yahweh our power will do nothing, but he reveals his secret unto his servants, the prophets. You see that? So the Most High don't do nothing except he revealed it to a service the prophets, right? So everything that's to take place in America and abroad, right? The most out of revealed it through the prophets. And he sent that spirit through us so we can spiritually discern it, right? So again, seeing that thing on Wendy, a lot of people just saw it and oh, she just fell, and people making memes, and then it becomes a joke, right? It becomes a mockery. It becomes something to laugh at. But they're not spiritually looking at this thing, right? Get me 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14. Let's see why they're not spiritually looking at what's in. Folks, I was showing warnings to these people, right? But he gave it to his service, the prophets. And this is the stance that we are in today. You know, not putting us up saying we somebody's prophet and all that, but we walking in the footsteps of our in our ancient Israelite, you know what I'm saying, forefathers that was, that was prophets. Did right? you see the first, you know, like the, the entire show? They're coming out showing their outfits, I don't mean, and like I wasn't watching, but I'm sitting down like on my computer and I can hear it on TV. Right. And I get so fed up with what I'm hearing, you know, the spirit around me, I'm like, turn the TV off. Man. You know, so I turn it off. I turn it back on, so you fail that fast. But the reason why in my spirit made me turn the TV off is because there was a bunch of homosexual stuff going on right before she fell. Yeah. So when you think about that in the spirit, even with the United States, all this homosexual So what was what was going on? They, it was two two guys on there, and it was like real feminine. Just how it was like this. I don't know. They was just making all these these noises and acting like women. You know, they was doing all that. And that's what brought me up. Like, man, turn that off. And that was all you know, before she collapsed. Right before she fell. Wow. Yeah, you know. But it's showing, it's showing, man, to be honest, man, it showed in the spirit. Read that scripture. Read what you got. First Corinthians 2 and 14. First Corinthians 2 and 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit. You see, so the natural man can't see this thing. You know what I'm saying? They can't see it in the spirit. They don't receive the things of the spirit. They don't receive the prophecies and what have you. Why? Because they're like you bringing out the lesson. They spiritually don't have the eyes to see. But this is what the Most High has given us, right? Read on. Of Yahweh, for they are foolishness unto them. You see that? So the prophecy, the scriptures, and all that has become foolish to most people, right? They don't look at TV and they try to look at things from a spiritual man. They look at it to be entertained, right? So when we bring these things out to them, it's foolishness to them, right? We don't. Neither can he know them. Why? Because they are spiritually discerned. You see that? And that's the type of eyes that we got to have. So when we're looking at these things going on around us, you got to spiritually discern them. So when I seen, when I when that clip was brought to my attention and I went back and I looked at it, and I'm like, wait a minute, this woman come out with the Statue of Liberty, statue, and then now you see, you can see in the spirit something approached her and dropped her.
understand what I'm saying? I'm like, man, that got to be the spirit of the most out. It got to be, right? Mm -hmm. But let's see. Let's go to Isaiah 47. What, what was this thing showing? Let's see what this thing was showing, brother. Isaiah chapter 47, pick it up at the first verse. Come down and sit in the dust. Do what? Sit in the dust. It said, come down and sit in the dust. Well, who was this talking to? Right, read. O virgin daughter of Babylon. See that? It said, O virgin daughter of Babylon. It said, come and sit in the dust. Right now, America ain't sitting in no dust. She's the, the power, the strength, the military, financial power of the earth. She I believe that together we can make America great again. And with your help, your heart, your devotion, and your efforts, we can build a community of hope that will inspire the world. The empire of the world, right? She ain't sitting in no dust, but it said, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, right? Read on. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. O daughter of the what? The Chaldeans. The daughter of the Chaldeans. The Chaldeans back in the day, that was what you call the illuminated powers. Those were the ones that sat in ancient Babylon that it was the illuminated men. All right, so America was created by whom? The Freemasonic Order, right? While some of the men who founded this nation were indeed Christian, there was without doubt a secret Masonic agenda guided from behind the scenes by Rome, hidden in the founding of this nation, and memorialized in the great seal of the United States. The so-called the, the Illuminati powers of today, right? So now, this so-called daughter was told to come sit in the dust, right? Drop down to verse 3. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Your what? Your nakedness shall be uncovered. Uh-huh. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. You see that? So just like you were just saying, you said before this sister fall, right, with the Statue of Liberty statue on, you see a whole bunch of homosexuality going on. Whole bunch of paganism as far as this Halloween thing going on. And this is being celebrated, right? Showing what? This ain't nothing but Sodom and what? Ain't it by the line all replayed again? But this is this is exactly what is being uncovered before the earth, right? Read on. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. You see that? So they looking at, you know, North Korea and all these different countries to come up against her. We gotta do, we gotta stop them from getting nuclear capability, right? They can't stop it because who's going to come up against America? Is it really men? No. They said the Most High said, I ain't going to meet you as a man. The Most High is going to put these different spirits on, on these nations that's going to bring certain destruction. You understand that they ain't never seen before. Right? Drop down to verse 8. Verse 8. Therefore, hear now this. Thou that art given to pleasures. Thou that what? Thou that are given to pleasures. You see that? This, this is something we got to sink in, man. It said, hear this. You that are given to pleasures. America is nothing about but pleasure. This is the Babylon, the a, AKA America is nothing but pleasure in America. That's all they're about, right? From the drug pleasure, sexual pleasure, so on and so forth. Anything that they can do to please the flesh, this is what they promote, right? But it said, here now this, you that are given to pleasures, right? Read. That dwells carelessly. Don't she dwell carelessly? Um, yeah, she go around the earth thinking, I, you know, she'll never pay for what she's done. And what's the biggest crime that she has committed on the face of this earth? Huh? She's a slave Exactly. She done dropped tons of bombs on people. She done did all Murder. types of things, right? Murder. Murders, all types, polluted the whole ocean system, the whole nine, right? But the biggest crime that she has committed is what she has done to the children of the Most High. And she think, I ain't gonna pay for it. I'm straight, right? Read on. That say is in thy heart, I am. They do what? That that say is in thine heart, I am. And that's what they say. Y'all know about the, uh, the room and the uh the UN room where they go in there and chant I am, I am, I am. Y'all ain't never heard that? Go look it up. There's a room in the UN building where the elites go in, it's like a trapezoid in the middle of the room, it's barely it's like an empty room, and they go in there and chant I am, I am, I am. We're standing in front of the meditation room at the United Nations, and you'll notice what they're worshiping is a black rock. The occult symbols in the background of the circle, the smaller circle with the half black, half blue, that's all symbolic of a New Age movement. This is the occult room of the one world religion, where every religion of the world could come here and meditate upon their gods. Don't look that thing up. But it said that, it said what? You say I am, and what? 
and none else beside me. And ain't America leading and turning around telling everybody there's no God secretly behind the scenes? That they the power? You God. understand what I'm saying? They allow atheists and all this other madness. Do what thou will. Do what thou will, right? God. But it said that none else beside me. They think that they the lone superpower to earth, right? God. They don't have to answer to nobody, right? The leader of the free world. Right. Read on. I shall not sit as a widow, uh -huh. neither shall I know the loss of children. See that? That's what they think. They, ain't, they think they ain't gonna never lose a battle, a military battle. Fine. You know what I'm saying? But the most I got something else in store for him, right? Read on. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day. I want you to think about that. Spiritually, when that woman collapsed, they came to her as what? As a moment in one day. She didn't it wasn't expecting that. That was completely unexpected for her to go out there and then collapse in front of the whole world. And for everybody to see it on live TV. That what through that show? That showed that that same what happened to her, as far as her collapsing just like that in the blink of an eye, the same thing is gonna happen to America. These people was walking with it, but this again, we have the eyes to see. These people walking around in this thing thinking America will go on forever, it's gonna last forever. And one day, like he said, read that from the top. But these two things, but these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day. What's gonna happen? The loss of children uh -huh. and the widowhood. They shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries, for the great abundance of thy enchantments. You see that? Read on. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, none seeth me. You see that? And that's what they do. They trust in their wickedness. And they think that this place is, this is the cream of the crop. Because everybody want to be here, right? They trust in this wickedness, right? But the most I was showing that, hey, you're going to pay. And how is Babylon to be destroyed according to, to, the, uh, to the scriptures? Same way Sodom and Gomorrah went on, right? By fire. Now I want y'all to check this out. Do you know what that woman went on ABC and uh, ABC News talking to what was that homosexual uh, lady, uh, Robin, whatever her name is, the sister that beat the breast cancer or whatever? She goes on there and she gets has an interview, right? And then they ask her about her collapsing. Did you know what she said? This woman said, when that sensation came on her, it felt like fire at her feet and then rolls up. We're back now with the latest on Wendy Williams' health scare. We saw that dramatic video of the talk show host fainting on live TV. It's such a scary moment. Amy, you had a chance to sit down with her and discuss what happened. That's right, and Wendy was very candid. She was very open. Did you know you were gonna faint? Yes. When we came back from the break, then I felt it. It felt like I was in the middle of a fire. It felt like I was in the middle of a fire. I felt like I was in the middle of a fire. It's starting down at my feet, going all the way up. I so when we seen her collapse, when she started doing all that crazy mess or whatever, she said she felt fire at the bottom of her feet, and then it rose up and came up all the way to the top of her head. And that's what made her drop. That was the spirit of the Most High showing you that Babylon is going to be destroyed by fire. And people don't even see it. Again, what's the odds of her coming out dressed up like a Statue of Liberty? Right. Uh, the main icon of America, the main icon that everybody in the world looks up to. Because what that thing say, give me your poor, give me your afflicted and all this other man, ain't that what's at the bottom of the Statue of Liberty? Huh? But it just show you, man. Drop up to verse seven, because she said something very phenomenal. You know what I'm saying, when it comes to these scriptures. You don't even realize how she was fulfilling scripture, right? Because thou sayest, I shall be a lady forever. See that? She said, I, I will be, this scripture say that Babylon say, I will be a lady forever. So guess what she said also? When I was getting ready to go down, I, had to, I made sure that I kept my head on the crown. And I have this crown on. So Wendy, do two things. Fall pretty, because this will never happen again, and go down with the crown. 
go down. So the, I can't believe that you could think about those yes, things. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, so for people watching, when they saw me, you know, put my head, uh, my hand up, it's because I'm trying to make sure my crown is there. But this is what she said. It said, read that again. It said, you should what? <laughs> and thou sayest, I shall be a lady forever, uh -huh. so that thou didst not lay the, uh, these things to thy heart. See that? So America spiritually thinking that she's gonna be a lady forever. She's gonna rule the world forever, so on and so forth. And physically, it was played out when this woman talking about. I went down. I had to hold my crown and make sure it didn't fall off my head. And I went down, cute y'all. You understand what I'm saying? She spiritually showed you that thing played out right before people's eyes. They don't see it because it's spiritually the sun. But this is a warning for us. This is for us. When we got these eyes to see, man, we got to be looking at these things. That's why the scriptures say for a man, a righteous man, to be occupied in the prophecies. Be reading this thing. Understand what's going on around you. All right, so...